In this particular lecture, let's build the form for our application where we could go ahead and submit the to-do item. So in order to create that form, the form is going to be its very own component. So let's go ahead and create a new component here called as form.js. So I would say form.js and as usual, I'll create a function here which is going to be an ES6 function. So const form equals this arrow function right there. And here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make this thing return parentheses and inside the parentheses, I'm going to be having a div. So now inside this div, let's create a form so that we could add an input field. So I would say form and then add an input field here. And here I would also add a placeholder, which would say something like add uh, to do item. So now once we have that, let's also add a button over here as well, which is going to be to submit or add the to do item. So let's call this button as add for now. And now let's make use of this component, which is the form component inside app.js. And remember that you have to add it to the bottom of the header. You cannot add it here because if you add it here, it's going to appear at the top. So here I will add the form component and I would import form as well. So I would say import form from that's going to be component slash form. So now if we take a look at this, okay, I guess we forgot to add the export here because we were used to using regular functions. And in that particular function, you would use to add the export line here. So here you need to say export default, that's going to be form. So if we go back here, as you can see, the form is going to be added up over here. But as we want that below, you have to paste that below the header. So yeah, now it looks pretty decent. Now, once we have this form, let's also learn how to style this form as well. So as with this particular component, which is the header component, we have imported the styles from the module, which is style.module.css. So let's copy that line and let's paste it up over here as well, because we will be making use of the same module over here as well. So once we do that, now we will directly apply the styling to this div itself, which we have up over here. So here I would say the class name is going to be styles dot and let's call the class for the to do form as to do form. And now let's go ahead and style that form. So in order to style that form, first of all, I will go ahead, go inside the module here and I would say dot to do form and set its width to 100%. And then I would set the margin to auto and then I would set the margin top to 20 pixels. So margin top is 20 pixels. So now if we go back here, as you can see, this is what the form looks like. Now, once we have styled this particular to do form, let's style in the input field inside that form. So the input field right here is this field and we also need to add a class to this as well. So just as we have added the class to the div here, let's also add it over here as well. So here I would say class name equals, this is going to be nothing but styles dot and let's call this class as to do input. So now let's create that class up over here. So in order to create that class, I would say dot to do input. And then inside this class, I would simply go ahead and set a few properties for this. So the very first thing which we are going to do here is that we are going to set the width of this thing to 100%. So if we do that, and if we switch back to the browser, as you can see, the width has now changed to 100%. Now let's say we want to remove the border from here and we want to style this particular input field in a different way. So in order to do that, I would go ahead and set the border to none first. And then let's say you only want the border to be at the bottom. So therefore I would say border bottom and I would set the property to one pixels solid white smoke, which is going to be the color of that border. So if we go back here, as you can see, this is what the input field looks like right now. So now let's go ahead and let's set the font size of this as well, because right now it looks pretty small. So I would say font size and set the font size to 1.5 EM. Let's align the text inside this to center. 
let's also set the height of this thing to 50 pixels as well. So once we go ahead and do that, go back here, as you can see, this is what the input looks like. So here you could add any task like that and it appears right up over here. Now let's work on styling this specific button right here. And in order to style the button, we also need to add a class to that button as well. So let's go back to our code here. Let's go inside the form. And for this button, I would simply add the class name and this is going to be styles dot. Let's call this thing as to do button. So once we add that, let's style that thing up here in the styles.modules.css. So here I would say dot to do button. And let's also set a couple of properties on this button as well. So first of all, just like the input field, I'm going to set the width of this thing to 100%. Then I would set the border of this thing to none because we want a borderless button. So border is going to be none and then Let's set the height of this button to 50 pixels as well. So that matches up with the height of the input. And then once we do that, let's add some background color to this button. Let's say tomato. So if we add that, if we go back here, this is what the button looks like. Now, I guess we have mentioned the height in percent. That should be pixels. If we fix that, now our button looks prominent. And also, if you take a look at the font on the button, it looks pretty small. So let's also increase the size of the font a little bit. So I would say, uh, let's say the font size of the button is going to be somewhere around 1.2 EM. So yeah, this looks pretty decent. And now let's also add some color to this button. So let's say the text color needs to be something like white. So that would look a lot better. And now let's also add some gap or margin between the button and the input field. So I would say margin top to be 20 pixels. So if I add that, if I go back here, as you can see, this looks pretty decent. So now that we have this input field as well as the button ready, our next job is to make them functional. So for example, whenever I type in some task here and whenever I click on add, that data should be submitted and that data should be added to a to-do list and displayed up over here. So let's work on making this functional in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.